Mark Tilden työskentelee USA:n armeijan tutkimuskeskuksessa Los Alamosissa. Hän on ollut kiinnostunut roboteista kuusivuotiaasta lähtien. My robots work because I use a new control technology called nervous net technology. It doesn't use computers and it is based upon the assumption that a nervous system without a brain um, can run a robot more efficiently than a brain which is trying to control a body. My devices are built from various different scraps and bits of electronics including various forms of motors which I take from dead disk drives and dead computers, laptops, VCRs, basically the leftover technology of, um, of modern society. Um, the advantage with things like this is that they can be made adaptive and very capable and we've built everything from snake bots to walking robots which are built entirely out of Walkman from as small as you want to as large as you want but all of these things without a single line of computer programming required. This is real life, artificial life. And for years I have fought against the notion against computer artificial life because it is only valid inside the computer. Now, there's also been other things because I've seen many of my colleagues um, do something, an amazing simulation on a computer, and then they try and make it in real life, and it just does not work. And that has happened time and time and time again. And the reason is, is that inside a computer, the world is very, very regular. And they try and make little artificial life forms that try and push towards chaos, push towards interesting behavior. In real life, the world is very complex and chaotic and we try and push towards regularity. So computer artificial life pushes towards complexity, whereas real life pushes towards regularity. We live because we actually have an internal model. We were very difficult, it was very difficult for us without computers to make devices that did not have internal models, but now we are pushing that. And the exciting thing is, is that these are not world models that we create. These are world models that happen inside of our machines. And they happen with the smallest number of components. No computers, no programming, no massive memory. These devices are getting an essence of self in 20 transistors. In other words, what it would take to build a reasonable radio, we can now make something that can measure and take a sample and a decision on its world. If that's not a definition of life, I don't know what is. Mm.